Hey everyone, so I'm going to show how to install and use a normal looking Android launcher on a Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus or any other Amazon Fire device for that matter. Uh, so this is very easy to do, but the first thing you need to do is get the Google Play Store. Mine's right there. So you do need to get Google Play Store on here. If you guys don't know how to do it, just do a quick Google search on how to do it. It takes about 5 minutes. Well, I check out my channel. I have a video on how to do it as well. Uh, so that's the first thing you need to do. And once you have that installed, again, that takes about five minutes. That's going to take the most here. Under there, just type in launcher. And it brings up a whole bunch of different launchers. So one I'm using is not the Prime. The Nova launcher right there. So install that baby. And when you do, you'll get a little icon down here for Nova Launcher. Just hit that guy. And like magic, you now have a normal looking Android launcher. So what's cool about this too is you can add in widgets. So you push and hold off to the side. You can get widgets here, you get different wallpapers, which you can do, of course, with the normal launcher as well. And also go to your settings. So this is like a normal looking Android home screen. Like I said, you can install different widgets depending on what apps you have installed on here. So, I have this big clock widget. I have, oh, which is so much better than the tiny little clock you get otherwise. I have the Google widget. What's the weather today? Which is actually pretty funny because Amazon uses Bing. It actually goes to Bing instead of Google. You know, it's the Google one there. Uh, I put on Amazon Music just to show that I don't actually use Amazon Music, but it is on here. Uh, then this is for your documents, uh, the standard document that comes on the Fire devices, so it opens up a up, opens up a new document for you. And then down here, so you can change the way this works. So you can either have these down here, or you can do where you swipe up, like you would do on like iOS or something. Uh, but then it also gives you this. So you hit that, and that gives you all of your apps. And then of course you can add apps to your home screen. Or down to your main bar. Down there. So that's very cool. So then too, you can do where you have different or multiple apps into one file system right like that. And so in order to do that, you just kind of drag and drop in order to do it. So the one downfall of doing it this way is that say you open up something. Let's go to actual YouTube, not YouTube Studio. So say we open up something here. If you guys were to just push home to go like you normally would do. It'll actually bring it back to your standard launcher. So way around that is, so you got, you're got you into YouTube and you don't want to be on YouTube anymore, you hit the little square to open up all your open apps, and then you just swipe away from YouTube, or leave it open if you want to leave it open, uh, then you hit Nova Launcher again. So we'll do that one more time. That's the one downfall of this. And there is a way around this, Ooh, I didn't see that one. Uh, so again, you just open, hit the square, and you can open up Nova Launcher again. The way around this is you can do a more complicated way. Uh, if you guys want to do a more complicated way, just Google it. But basically, you have to use your computer, and you have to hook up your Fire tablet to your computer, and you have to download a APK file uh, and transfer it over to this guy. Uh, and then that way it will stay this way. Um, but I think this is just cool. Just if you want to be using standard Android looking home screen here, or if you want to use the Fire one, you know, you can kind of switch back and forth between the two. Just, just gotta make sure that you hit that square there to go back to the main home screen. Because if you hit that, it will bring you to your, your, uh, normal fire home screen so yeah 
So that is how you do that. I think that is really, really cool. And again, you can use other launchers on here as well. Just make sure you do download the Google Google Play Store. So otherwise, if you're using the Amazon App Store, you don't really get anything. All the ones that are on there look kind of sketchy to me. So yeah, there we go. Alright guys, thank you all very much for watching. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.